Hi everyone and welcome to this practicing tips session. I'm Eve Newsom, Senior Lecturer at the Queensland Conservatory in Griffith University. And today I'm going to be talking to you about how to create your very own simple log and journal for practicing. Now you might wonder what's beneficial about them. Well, a log can help you to track over time how much time you're putting into an activity, whilst a journal can help you to see what you're doing with your time. So they're a really great pair. You can use them to help improve your efficiency and to get more out of your practice. So let's have a look now at a really simple log and journal I've drawn up for you. You can look at other ones online and then create one that suits your own needs. So firstly, the practice log. You can see here, number of practice sessions per day. So Monday, three sessions, Tuesday, four sessions, and so on. And then the total daily time. So 120 minutes for Monday, 160 for Tuesday, and then a lower number, 70 for Wednesday. I've also included fitness and the total daily time, because I think that our fitness as musicians really helps our practice efficiency and just our general life as musicians. So once you've filled in all the amounts for each day, you can add up the total, and then you can see how things interact across the week and across each of the days. Now I've written here a light day for Sunday, because I think it's really important you have one day per week when you don't practice much. That helps you recover from the previous days of practicing. Let's have a look now at a practice journal. So we usually have two types of repertoire for practice, our foundational or technical repertoire and our concert repertoire. So I've included six items, a scale set, exercise, study, concerto, sonata and excerpt set. Now, if you're a singer or you're a jazz musician or you study popular music, you might have other items you'd like there, to put there instead. That's fine, just create it for what you need. Now, looking at Monday, for each day, it's important to have a goal for each of the items in our repertoire sets. And then to have methods that we're going to use to practice with. And also to record our daily progress. So let's look at the first item, increase the tempo of scales. So your method is to check with a metronome and then record the amount of progress you've made and then Put an arrow there if you'd like to continue with that task. The following item, exaggerate dynamics in an exercise. You can check that by recording sections and listening back. And you enjoyed doing that and you made good progress. So you've got a tick there to say you've finished that. So any of the items that have arrows, it means continue that in the following day's practice. If they're ticked, it means you're finished. So in that way, you can see really clearly how to create the next day's sessions. You might also have question for follow-up. So example, how can I practice the fast passages in my concerto? You can do some research on that. You can record that in your journal, and then you can include those new techniques in your following days or days of practice. So I hope that you've got a lot out of looking at these simple ideas for logs and journals and that you're able to create one for yourself that really meets what you need, what suits you. So have a go at it and have a great week of practicing. And until I see you next time, happy practicing.